Hello students, today we shall discuss question number 8 of 1.4 figure it out. What happens when you start to add up hexagonal numbers? That is take 1, 1 plus 7, 1 plus 7 plus 19, 1 plus 7 plus 19 plus 37 and so on. Which sequence do you get? Can you explain it using a picture of a cube? Hexagonal numbers are 1, 7, 19, 37, 61 and so on. Now what happens when we add this starting from 1? 1 is equal to 1. 1 plus 7. 1 plus 7 is equal to 8. 1 plus 7 plus 19. 19 plus 1, 20. 20 plus 7, 27. Then 1 plus 7 plus 19 plus 37. So 19 plus 1, 20, 27, 27 plus 37 is 14, 64. So that is equal to 64. So what numbers are we getting? 1 we can write as 1 cube. 1 cube means 1 into 1 into 1. 8 can be written as 2 cubed. 2 into 2 into 2 that is 8. 27 is 3 cubed. 64 is 4 cubed. That means which sequence do you get? We can write we get the sequence of cubes. We get the sequence of cubes. Can you explain it using a picture of a cube? Yes, we can explain it. So for that you need to draw cubes on one side and one side you need to show the hexagonal numbers. Okay. So first we can draw a cube. It's very easy to draw a cube like this. So suppose this is one cube. So we are just going to show one dot for this. One dot represents one cube. In your textbook two pictures are given. So you can just draw those two pictures. And how do you draw it? You can take a line like this. And then draw like this. Same way here also. And then take a point here. Draw like this. Okay. Now this is I have taken a big cube. It is divided into four parts. So you draw three lines. One, two, three. One, two, three. So this is one, two, three, four. Here also same way. One, two, three, one, two, three. So you see here it's divided into four parts. Same way here. One, two, three, and then one, two, three. So this side it's four, this side it's four, and this side also the height is also four. That means it's representing the number sixty-four. Four cubed which is 64. Now how do we show this using dots? Same way you can do it. First using a pencil you draw a cube. So if I draw like this. I am drawing with a pencil so that later on I can erase it off. If you want you can color it like how it is given in your textbook. You can color this one. The center one you can show using yellow color and then here you can put red color. The rest of it you can do blue color. This is how it's given in your textbook. Now we will do the pictorial representation using a hexagon. This yellow cube here, this one is at the center. Then there are 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. 3 red cubes. So 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Then we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 cubes here. So we can draw 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3 and then 1, 2, 3. Same way here also you can do 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. 
one, two, three. Each of these dot represents one small cube. And then behind, because this is a two D shape, it's difficult to show the three D shape here. But this is the representation of sixty four. So then one, two, three, one, two, three. So this is the dot representation. And after you are done, you can just erase off the pencil marking. So this is how you can represent a cube using a hexagonal dot representation. If you want, you can show two cubed, three cubed, also like this. Hope the concept is clear to you. Thank you.